Mr. Mulray? Yes. Sorry I'm late. My appointment was some time. Don't worry at all. Mr. Foster set aside the whole afternoon to see you. Please, have a seat. How long do you think this will take? Why don't I take your coat? You have a seat and relax. I'll let Mr. Foster know you're here. Mr. Mallory. David Foster, pleased to meet you. Come with me, Mr. Mulray. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. You can relax, Mr. Mulray. I understand that you're nervous. Please be assured it's completely natural. Perhaps you could begin by outlining what brought you here. Well, as I said on the phone, I... I feel I need some help. I have a... a what a personal problem. It's been there for some time, but... It's really getting out of hand. I've had a few drinks, so I'm, I'm going to leave the car, so I, I'm going to be late. Okay. Uh, yes, I can make any time on Tuesday. Uh, yes, uh, yes, two o'clock. Two o'clock Tuesday, that would be fine, yeah. I'm not here to censor or to judge. What sort of effect is all this having on your social life? Your home? Look, this isn't about my family, is it? It's about me. This is about you, James. My father was a judge. A very senior one, a very serious one. He was very strict about his ideas of decency and discipline. My mother said it was because of his job, you know, you couldn't have scandal attached to the family. Did you get on with him? We weren't close. He was a very good man in many ways, but he was always very distant. Very strict. When I was 12, he found some pornographic magazines under my bed and he, uh, he beat me it's so hard. It's so fucking hard. Your father's dead now. Yes. What about your job? Does your problem have any effect on it? Any inappropriate behavior? Yes, my work suffers. I miss a lot of days. And the inappropriate behavior? I didn't say there was any. But there is, isn't there? It's not an easy task to keep things hoarded to yourself. It's very painful. How do you feel about being freed from this, knowing that you'll never go back? You're not suggesting surgery. <laughs> We're not living in the 1950s. I believe we can cure you. It's just a question of whether you want it. I want it.
Through this door is the cure to your problem. I just need to make sure that you really want to go through with it. Think of my father as Mr. Mulray. It's really getting out of hand. Oh. <laughs> I'm masturbated by my secretary. Explicit internet sites. now walk away from your addiction. You'll never go back. Fuck you! You can't do this! We've been doing it for decades. How did you get a hold of all that stuff? It isn't our business to explain these things to you, Mr. Mulray. But why? Who do you think ultimately oversees massage parlors, escort agencies, and explicit internet sites? Do you think they'd be tolerated even for one moment if they didn't serve some dual function? Jesus Christ, why me, though? Why me? Because you needed us. You called us, remember? You wanted this. Could you get Mr. Mulray's coat, please? Well, maybe we'll be in touch with you. Just a moment. I think you should look at this. I've seen enough. Open it. He came to us shortly before you were born. Don't be too hard on your father, Mr. Mulray. 